All right. <laughs> test, test. Test, test. Hey, sounds good. Okay. Alright, next on the map looks like Teresa. So, let's go find Teresa. Uh. The battle is truly joined. I love this combat. It's so good. It's over this way. Okay. Where does this put me? I'm in that area. Can I go around it? Level 15 seems a little steep. Beautiful. The thrill of the fight. Ulbrich almost has enough for another level up. And his or another skill up. Ooh, money. This might be a bit more like it. Boyd's. I'm ready. Uh. Does. The battle is truly joined. Out of my way. Yeah, spear does do it. Okay. I'm ready. The battle is truly joined. I grow strong. Strong. Okay.
Ah, uh, this looks like the place. Hang on, I'm getting a phone call. I'm getting a phone call, hold on. Sorry about that. I'm back. Anyway, this looks like the right place. That's a new skill for Ulbrick. I think I was gonna do. Insight. And he's got. Cover? This equipping character will absorb single targeted damage for allies who are near death. Yes, please. Weak to that. The battle is truly joined. I am ready. How about you? I am ready. The show is over. Doing pretty all right for ourselves. There's a save. It's a good day for that. I am ready. Huh.
townsperson seems a little tough. Check out the shop. Sure. Definitely good on all that and stuff. Wait, what are these though? I am having fun. I like this game a lot. Can I fight this guy? I could probably beat you. It's a good day for battle. The battle is truly joy. I am a rot layer. Not sure why I beat that guy up. I don't think he was standing in front of this place. Moment, traveler, what can I do for ye? Uh, nothing, I'm good. Those stinking pirates. I can't forgive them for this. I'm getting everybody's things back, no matter what it takes. Pirates? Her name is Teresa, and she is a merchant. A tiny port town in the coastlands is her the only home she's ever known. Here in Rippletide, she cuts deals and stocks shelves, doing all she can to help keep her family's shop afloat. And from the quays she's walked a thousand times, she looks upon the endless sea and dreams of a wider world. When she's robbed by a band of thieving pirates one day, her pride as a merchant won't allow her to back down, and so she vows to set off for the pirate's den. She will need daring allies on the path she has chosen. Indeed. This world is brimming with treasures. And I know what that what I'm searching for is waiting for me out there somewhere. So I'll set sail for the horizon and the great big world that lies beyond. This one's not going to be depressing then? Sweet. <laughs> the first two were a little oof. Especially that first one. Ulbrich's isn't so bad. It's a pretty, you know, standard revenge tale. Fucking Primrose's was dark. Well, the All right, what? Stock itself. Well, the stock, the shop ain't gonna stock itself. Well. Morning, Ma. Morning, Pa. Uh. <laughs> I picked her story because I, it sounded the most interesting. Watching her dad get murdered and all in the description, I was like, I, that sounds cool. I'm in on that. It was actually between her and the uh, the lady with the, the hunter lady. I thought about doing either of them first, but I chose Primrose because I thought her sounded better. Morning, Tressa. Tressa. 
Looks like our number one employee is ready for another day of work. Sure am. And I'll start by stocking up the store. And I'll start by stocking up the store. Hold your seahorses, little lady. Tell me, what are the three things a merchant needs most? They need to be smiley, mannerly, and early. Thought you had me, didn't you? <laughs> You're too clever for me, Tressa. Now off you go. This is this is a very Yuffie like voice. So she might kinda devolve into talking like this. Leave it to me, Pa. Leave it to me, Pa. Be careful out there, Tressa. <laughs> oh, those pirates have been causing trouble around the tavern lately. Ma sounds like that. <laughs> oh, those pirates have been causing trouble around the tavern lately. If you see them, you make sure to keep a wide berth, you hear? <laughs> Got it, Ma. Be back in two ripples of the tide. Be back in two ripples of the tide. Hey, I'm Tressa. Good to meet you. There she goes. It reminds me of myself when I was that age. Always running off somewhere, wanting to prove myself a full-fledged merchant. Don't flatter yourself. Our Tressa is something special. <laughs> Ripple Tide isn't the largest port in the realm, but she sure it sure is lively. Greetings to ye. I'm a fruit connoisseur myself. I love that sweet and sour taste. Well, if it ain't the hardest working merchant in town, he even beat some fishermen to the pier. <laughs> huh, don't sound so surprised. We both know the early bird catches the worm, or in our case, the fish. <laughs> You're darn right it does. Well, here's to the here's the catch of the morning. Blue Marlin, I see. Pig ones too, with lots of good meat on its bones. I can give you this much. Huh? It's worth a little more than that. This one's a whopper. Hmm. Guess I'll have to take my business elsewhere then. You hook snagged its innards. I was willing to overlook the damage, but. Fine, you got yourself a deal, Missy. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> so far, I like the seaport one the best. Not bad. You're an, you're a born and natural at negotiating. I was wrong to underestimate you. <laughs> you got that right. I may not look like much, but I can haggle with the best of them. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Well, don't be a stranger. Yeah. I won't. Thanks again. Okay. Hey, I'm I'm next up wine. Try pushing X in front of a townsperson. I can buy stuff from townspeople. Ooh.
We have the finest mead. Oh, he's looking for a bargain. Another day, another deal. A deal so another good, day. It was a steal. This ought to liven up our little shop. Our little shop. Just me, my pa. is so vast. I always wonder what can what do I really want to do? What do I really want in life? And then I wonder what lies beyond the horizon? Drop anchor! I haven't seen that ship around here before. wonder where it came from. Yeah, so far I think I like this city more than the other two. The other ones are a little more... Too mountainy or too deserty. I de certainly wouldn't want to live in the desert. But it carries a delectable scent. Its cuisine may be promising. What's the matter, lass? You look like a fish out of water. Is this a trading ship? And I am its captain. Well, Captain, the name's Tressa. I'm a merchant in this town. A pleasure to meet you. I'm sure you have all kinds of neat cargo on board. Say, do you mind if I take a peek? I'd love to see what you've brought from overseas. <laughs> you have a true merchant's eye, lass. You gaze at a simple trading ship as if it were made of solid gold. Alas, I only allow passage to those I trust. Aww. <gasps> what was that? I'll go check it out. Busy as a dream, that one. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever want to live in a desert. That's too... Nah. Don't! I beg you! That's all I have left. <laughs> then we'll be in the same boat, matey. We got nothing left ourselves. Ain't that right, Mac? <laughs> hey, Mick. Just we be needing something, we be taking it. It's what pirates do, after all. Please have mercy. Sir. Captain, I got goods from that there shop. You ninny. There can only be one captain around here, and it'd be me. Ha <laughs> huh. ha. Everyone knows that. Uh, everyone knows I be the captain, and you're me first mate. We'll see about that, Mac, you scurvy swine. Mm. Aye, we will make you scabby bottom sea bass. Arts cuts. Can't you both be the captain? <laughs> Fine. Now show us what the other treasures you be hiding. Hey. Stop that. Mm. Says who? I won't allow it. Says me. People here are merchants, and the fishermen are doing all they can to put food on the table. Have a heart. Don't steal what little they have from them. How's this for hot? I'll give you one chance to shove off, kid. 
but I... <laughs> Best to be on your way, little one. We're doing grown-up business here. I'm not going anywhere. Well, well, what do you got there, kid? Yo. It's rainbow wine, and it'll be ours now. Ah. Hey! <laughs> A brat like ye wouldn't appreciate it none anyways. We're doing ye a right favor by taking it off your hands. Now say thank ye. Give it back. Lass. That's enough, lass. But... But, Captain... Think again. You've got pluck. I'll give you that. But they don't look the types who will listen to reason, Savvy. <laughs> that lily-livered scallywag knows what he's talking about, kid. Best take his advice to heart. In this world, the strong take while the weak quake. Bye-bye now. Thank you kindly for the you, you deck wet and worms. Fare thee well. Aye, it's been a bloody pleasure. Mm. There's no need to pretend. Your legs are trembling. It's just a cramp, that's all. Lass. Not even the best merchant can buy back his life once it's taken from him. Mm. I know, but... <laughs> Why won't they just leave us alone? Those pirates should be out at sea. Instead, they've holed up in the caves of Maya, west of town. What do I do now? Yeah, I think I might need to go west. Going somewhere less? Captain! If I didn't know better, I'd say you were setting a course straight for the pirate's den. Awfully rash, wouldn't you say? Well, I... I know, but... And you still intend to go, I see. That must mean you have a foolproof plan of attack. And a weapon, of course. You wouldn't dare go empty-handed, would you? Only a fool would think they could haggle their wares back from dastardly pirates. I know, but I can't just sit by and do nothing. Those poor people might starve if they don't get their belongings back. On my honor as a merchant, I can't li let them get their way away with this. Oh. A fine choice of words, lass. Really? really? Aye, if you're so determined, I won't stop you. However, on the condition that you let huh? me help. How so? I'm willing to part with some of my wares if you think they'll prove useful on your journey. If there's something that catches your eye, consider it yours. For the right price, of course. Deal. What are you selling? What can I get you? Might as well take all of those. I see! And what would you need sleepweed for? 
I'm sure those pirates must be exhausted after all that looting. <laughs> so I thought I'd help them relax by slipping some of this into their wine. <laughs> You're a clever one, aren't you? Off you go, then. And be safe out there, lass. Thank you. By the way, Captain. Why are you helping me? Because my eye tells me to do so. As a fellow merchant, I'm sure you understand. We appraise with our eyes, and mine tells me, and mine tell me there's something special about you. <laughs> I see. Thank you, Captain. <sighs> that should do the trick. Now to make a special delivery to the Caves of Maya. And so I'm on my way to the Pirate's Den. Really? You're going to help me? I can't thank you enough. You've got a heart of gold. <laughs> now that I've slipped some of this sleep weed into their wine, once they've dozed off, the stolen wares will be as good as mine. Welcome to the party, Teresa. Tressa. Whatever. You can go to the front of the row. Since it's your chapter. Uh, let's go to the weapon store and see what you can uh, equip. Because I don't know. Ooh, she's got spears. Okay. Ooh, and a bow? Ooh. Wait a minute, let's... So as it turns out, that was a bad deal. But alright. Not gonna lie, I wish I had enough for one of those at least. Um, but she can have an iron spear and a bow, and then she can have a shield, and then. Gonna give that to Primrose and then give her that. I don't have any other accessories, huh? Just that. Oh, but mm. should probably take that off of. Primrose and give it to her. That's a little bit better. Okay. Mm. 
not for sale, huh? Come back to you. Yeah. I can't can't spy stuff off of them if they're dead. That would be silly. I'm not sure how much this will change, but I can't see myself using a lore all that often with uh, other people here now. How about you? Yeah, I'm sure that'll change some, but as of now, it doesn't seem really all that worth it. Yeah, I'll look here in a second. I forgot to even look. Oh! Oh lord. Alright, what do you got? Merchant skills. Collect. Collect money from a single foe. Deal heavy wind damage to a single foe. Okay, so she's got wind. And she can steal money. Oh, but the, oh, but the, uh, the chance of it seems quite low. Ooh. Well, that's, uh... Yeah, I have to let her get some boost up. Open for business. Oh, those are new. How about you? I'm 
ready. Now. Victory shall be mine. Let's see. Oh, 100%. 47%. 27%. 17%. Oh, so, is just like, yeah, you get some money. $60. Well, the sword works. Hey there, me hearty. Ah. Not you again. You looking for trouble, brat? No, sir. I came to, I, I came to apologize on behalf of my town. We should have known we didn't stand a chance against you swashbucklers. Will this do? This is for you. I hope you can forgive us. <laughs> Wine. I'll be happy to see this. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> Those landlubbers didn't even put up a fight. <laughs> Probably didn't know how to f how from the looks of that. From the looks of it, their crusty barnacle of a town don't got many pirates. The strong take while the weak quake. And that's the way the world works. Words to live by, courtesy of Captain Leon Bestrale. Scourge of the seas. Aye. Aye. We set out to follow in his footsteps and ain't looked back since. There ain't no better life than just taking what you want. Shut up. Captain, Captain. I told you, there ain't enough room for two captains around here. You got that right. Right, like I said, you're just the first mate. Ah. Set your squabble on the side, Captain Sis. We got more wine here. Yo. Did you say wine? That kid came by and said her town was sorry for what it done. <laughs> Those land numbers are fast learners. Or they're too yellow bellied to put up a fight. Yahar! <laughs> Alright! A toast to the land lovers. <laughs> <laughs> to the limp legged jellyfish of Ripple Tide. Cheers! Cheers! To the pirate in life. Should be just about time. All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that was easy. Ha, that's what they get for underestimating me. That looks like progress, so we're going to go this way. Oh, God.
Easy. <laughs> that looks like progress, so let's go this way. Now I'm not sure if that was project progress or if this is project pro progress. So maybe we'll go back the other way now. I can't tell. Let us fight with honor. Sleepy pirates. I am ready. Let's do this. Hmm. What to do? Yeah, there it is. How about you? Ooh, money. I don't know how to get that treasure. Easy. Oh. You know what? Why not? Since he's here. Oh shit. I haven't been paying attention, but Tressa has a has a skill point. Restore one's own HP and SP and cure status ailments. Oh. Deal wind damage to all foes. Grant one BP to an ally. BP? Dodge a single physical attack with a hundred percent success rate. Pay money to summon hired help to the battlefield. Hmm. Oh, the stock charges. 
Ha. Ah. Hmm. Oh. It costs zero SP to rest? Fuck, that seems really good. <laughs> Even if it's only for herself. Man, those two are great. <laughs> I'm gonna do the BP one, and we'll get the rest one next time, probably. And yeah, these two have forever to get another one. I noticed he got cover too, which is nice. see you down there. Ready or not, here I come. My turn now. Huh? No. I am ready. Thunder Soulstone. Ah, deal lightning damage to all foes. Refreshing jam. Oh, restores both. Okay. I think I got everything. How do I? Where do you? There we go.
Oh, damn. She hit 100 already, too. Okay. Well, now I guess we will do both. Endless items. Well, that sounds good. When a character with this skill uses an item, there's a 25% chance the item will not be consumed. Damn. Okay. Make sure she always heals. I think I'm going to take this back off of her and give it back to Primrose because she's still weaker at much higher a level HP wise so that makes sense um, and then we'll do that and then we'll talk to this guy and we'll buy it back and we'll I think we need to oh all of her crappy stuff Yeah, that's all fine. Okay. <clears throat> Boss fight. I hope there's treasure in your dreams. Because there won't be any here when you wake up. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, uh me? Well, uh, I just came back to get the cask. I'll be going now. <gasps> oh, that's mighty kind of ye. Mac! Yeah, lazy sack of bones. Get up. We got ourselves an intruder. Oh. What? Uh-oh. You. Hey, I know you. You're that brat from the town. Oh, I gets it now. You came to steal our loot while we were sleeping, did ye? You don't miss a thing, do ya? You got guts, kid. But guts alone won't get you far in this world. We don't forgive none what tries to take our hard-earned loot. What? Hard-earned? You stole all of this. <laughs> that we did, which makes it ours now. Hey. You don't understand the meaning of earning anything. You don't understand the love and care that went into making these products. How hard these people have to work to earn the satisfaction of their customers. And it's up to the merchants like me to make sure that these products find their way into the hands of those who can appreciate them. I won't allow it. On my honor as a merchant, I will get those good b goods back. <laughs> You're a shark, big brat. You got that right. Don't expect us to go easy on you. The world's a harsh place, as we're about to teach you. Now, let's get down to business. The battle is truly joined. Out of my way! Let's do this! I am ready. How about you?
That did not do as much as I hoped it would. Stay strong. It's making me attack him. Okay. That's still going on, huh? Okay.
Got him. The battle is truly joined. My turn now. How about you? How about this? Oh yeah, uh, uh, Primrose has the ability to uh, allure townspeople into following them back with her, which is actually really funny. How about this? Victory shall be mine. Uh. Out of my way. I am ready. God, her magic is so good. Victory shall be mine. Mm, okay, I'll try. If he's not dead by then. Good that is. I'm just gonna use the grape, not risk it right now. Let's see if he got any money. Oh, that's not bad. Victory shall be mine. And uh I 
Now he's dead. How is that? <laughs> now hand over those goods. You're one tough barnacle to pick, but we're just getting started. Ladies. You're a ninny for challenging us all on your own. In this world, the strong take while the weak quake. Time to learn your place, you squirmy little maggot. That's far enough. Thank you, Captain. Those who only pick on the weak and defenseless have no right to speak of the way the world works. What's that? Well, if it ain't the living little scallywag from before. What difference does one more make? Get him! Uh. Are he done swabbed our decks? Just who are ye? Oh? Hmm. I think any pirate worth his brine would already know. What? That blue spear. Oh. With the strength and swiftness of a viper. You can't be serious. Could it really be? Captain Leon was strong. What? Well, oh, I didn't see that coming. Captain, are you really the Leon Mistral? <laughs> Aye, in name, though a pirate no longer. Now I'm just the captain of a humble merchant ship. What do we have here? Here's a lesson for you lads, from a true man of the sea. Prepare yourselves. Dead men tell no tales. I ain't ready to be a dead man yet. Uh, whole bottom mateys or else it'll be the locker for us. <laughs> their feet are as quick as their wits are slow. Um. Um, Captain? Lass. Call me Leon, lass. Mr. Leon. Thank you for saving me. I believe in one good turn deserves another. Now, have you gathered all you need? Yes. Yep. All that's left is to bring back the goods. <laughs> Excellent work. Now you can return home. Your honor as a merchant all the greater. I must make for the docks. It's night time I set sail. <gasps> You're leaving so soon? Of course. The sea calls me, lass, but before I do... Hmm? Why don't you come by my ship? What's the matter? What are you waiting for, lass? Well, I... It's just, you said I'll only let those you trust onto your ship, so... So climb aboard already. Lass. It took a great deal of courage to stand up to those pirates, and I believe such bravery is deserving of reward. Huh? Reward? Aye. I collected countless treasures from the furthest corners of this world. They are my most prized possessions. And you may take whichever you fancy. Really? I could never take something so precious from you. It's okay, lass. I insist. Oh? Unless you don't care much for treasure, hmm? <laughs> when you put it that way, I can't really refuse. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's the spirit. I always knew the world was full of treasures. 
but I never dreamt I'd see such wonders. This is beautiful. Huh. Oh. Oh, a fine choice. What strikes you about the painting, lads? Well, I... I don't really know. Out of all these incredible treasures, it's this one it... It speaks to me. It's like I can see into the artist's soul. I can feel what he felt, all he experienced in his life. That is Love Unforgotten, a work left behind by Bastion, a famed painter from a land to the west. He was quite the admirer of women and married four times. And yet he could never forget the memory of his first love, who tragically passed when the two babies of thir when the two were babies, babes of thirteen years. It was his life's work to depict her as a woman grown, the beauty he knew she'd have one day become, working on the piece until the end of his career. Today, it is one of the world's most famous works of art. <gasps> wow, I never knew. Mr. Leon, would you mind if I looked around a little longer? Of course. To your heart's content, lass. A born merchant, that one. I can see it in her eyes. She knew not a thing of the Bastion, yet identified that painting as a masterpiece in an instant. I thought this was just a sleepy seaside town, but this girl... She might just be a shining gem among the rocks. Huh? Did you say something? Yeah. yeah! This is the one. Is it alright if I take it, Mr. Leon? This is... That's a seashell. <laughs> I'm afraid this old thing won't sell for much. It was left behind by a man I once let aboard in my younger days. It seems I neglected to throw it out and it got mixed in here. It's best you choose something else, lass. I'm not so sure about that. No, I want this one. I can't really explain it, but... It feels like it's calling to me. Mm -hmm. Is it now? Consider it yours, then. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Leon. Fare thee well, lass. I got a rock. Perhaps they will come when you and I meet as rivals. But I won't be beat. I swear it on my honor as a merchant. Way anchor, men. The ocean calls. I saw it with my own two eyes. Within those dusty pages, I felt like there was something that would change my life forever. No, it's a book. Are you selling any of that, uh, that spear yet? No, but that might not be bad to get. Always looking for a bargain. Hmm. Now 
Anything I can sell. Nope. All right. What are you selling? Oh. That is better, yeah? Oh, yeah, way better. Suppose I'll keep those. Except maybe the dagger. Don't worry, I won't forget about a spear. Within that book were the records of a traveler, one who had journeyed to the far ends of the realm. Spellbound, Tressa forgot time and read every one of his adventures. Set sail for the horizon. And the great big world beyond. I don't think any of us were expecting her to say that. I'm going to leave Ripple and become a traveling merchant. I'll see the world and have customers from every corner of the realm. Oh, Mom. Just think about what you're saying, dear. Oh, she saw me to sort and... Traveling merchant? I won't have it. You're not even a stationary merchant yet. You need at least... Two more years of stocking the store, and three years of working the shop front. That's five years before you're ready to go anywhere. Nope, I'm leaving. See you later. Sorry, Pa. My mind's made up. Besides, I'll get all kinds of training on the road. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. <laughs> There's no point in trying to stop you now, Tracy. Have my blessing. Oh, darn! This is our little girl you're talking about. I know, but I had a feeling this day would come. She is her father's daughter, after all. In the end, being a good merchant boils down to experience. That's just what you'll find out there. Go and see the world. Tressa, until your heart's content. I understand, but I can't help but worry, Tressa. Do take care of yourself out there, won't you? Be strong, and may the sacred flame light your path. I like it. <laughs> Just 
still got that guy with me. Okay. I'm gonna we'll see if I can fight this guy then. He looks strong. I'll fight you, though. Oh, God. You must be hiding something real good in there. All right, fine. I guess I'll just leave then. Really? I have to go back and look. Yeah, I know. I like this one. I mean, I'm certainly also excited to get back to my revenge plots, but this is good, too. What, uh... I'll have to check the map whenever I leave town. I can fight Mon Pa. Oh my God, Pa! Oh, oh, Pa! You're selling the goods. Holy fuck! Oh my God! Well, I can't bring them with until. I guess I could, uh, if I, if they run out of actions, they'll come back, right? Like, if I allure them, they, will they, they'll come back? Because I still want to be able to buy their stuff eventually. I'll come back for that. Both, all of those items are fucking um, incredible. Fair enough. Okay. Forty-two. Ugh. What about Ma? Seventy-two. Let's try and get Ma to come with. Just give me a moment to set down my apron. We got Ma. <laughs> Just give me a moment to set down my apron. <laughs> I get. <laughs> If I leave and come back, if I if I fight Paw and I leave and come back, he'll stand back up again, yeah. Yeah, I know. Let's I'm sure I'll be this. circling around the road the world map several times, so I'm not all that concerned about it. I am ready. I am ready. 
Well, that's a big old negative. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can fight Pa then. Hmm. <laughs> pa is strong. I'll try it. I don't mean to brag, but I was known as the muscled merchant back in my day. It's a good day for battle. Victory shall be mine. Ow. Damn. Ow. Damn. Have I Not so much. Failed? Pa is strong. Okay. Let's go sleep at the inn. I don't know if that's good, but I'm going to get it anyway. Or if it's even armor. It might just be a key item. Yeah, it's a key item. So, you know, I'm glad I bought it. You think I can win this? I wonder. Let us fight with honor. The battle is truly joined. <laughs> Holy fuck, Take buddy. Let me go ahead and say that is also not doable right now. Yeah, I'll worry about it later. Not important right now. Yeah, that lady whooped my ass.
Eh. Well, nothing I can afford really right now, so. I'm gonna start making a little bit of headway up to Cyrus there. But before we start his story, I'm probably gonna quit. Cause I gots to get up in the morning. See what Ma can do. Oh shit, Ma. Holy shit! How about you? Let's do this! Here I go! I'm ready. Ma is a little bonkers, Jesus. Uh 
The battle is truly joy. The battle is truly joy. I am ready. Like the darkness. I will cut you down. Strong. The thrill of the fight. I already like this team a lot. They all fit pretty well together. Healing grip. Yeah, this seems like the right way. Easy.
crazy how fast she's catching up. Something over here. No. Okay. Let us fight with honor. I am ready. No. What do we have in this new area, huh? Huh? Where? What? Huh? She just picked. Giant ants. What to do? Weak to spears. Frogs? Not weak to sword. How about you? I am ready. Frogs aren't all weak to swords. Or daggers. My turn now. How about the bow and arrow? No. Alright. What about wind magic? No. I'm ready. What about dark magic? I have nothing that is that this frog can be weakened by. Uh oh. Well, we'll just kill this ant first. dead. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go again. I'm ready. The show is over. Check the stats. Okay. Surprisingly decent defense. 
Uh, good elemental defense, good evasion. Elemental and physical attack are pretty equal. So equal, in fact, they're the exact same. Ah, okay. There's a trait. Okay. He's the big strong, but he's got no magic attack. His physical defense is pretty good. Accuracy is pretty good. Speed, slow. Not bad elemental defense. And then she's got magic attack. And good elemental defense and good physical defense. Well, not good, but decent. It's not embarrassingly low defense. Her evasion stat is fucking wild. And she's got... The summon, yeah. She fast. So we've got how many characters left? One, two. We've got three. So that means there's seven. There, there's five left, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, seems it. Well, that takes me perfect to about the time that I wanted to quit, so I'm going to do that. Because uh, I got works in the morning. Uh, Cyrus is next. We'll see when that happens. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll stream next, because I'm going to be pretty busy throughout the week, but we'll see. Uh, but I'm going to keep going with this because I quite like it a lot. Cyrus is next. Anyway. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.